the International Space Station had a visit on Tuesday. The Northrop Grumman Cygnus cargo spacecraft successfully docked at the station, taking over 8,200 pounds equipment and supplies for scientific experiments. A SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launched the Cygnus spacecraft on Sunday. The resupply mission comes as NASA faces a critical deadline within which it has to bring back the two astronauts, Sunita Williams and Barry Wilmore were stranded at the ISS for nearly two months. Tuesday's docking was overseen by NASA astronaut Matthew Dominic, who used a Canadam or robotic arm to secure the incoming spacecraft. The mission supports various scientific investigations, including studies on microgravity effects on human cells and fire behavior in space. The Cygnus will remain attached to the ISS for several months before departing with disposable cargo for re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. Meanwhile, NASA is racing against an August 18th deadline to bring Williams and Wilmore back. Astronauts were stranded there for months. Both have been stranded in ISS for nearly two months after their Boeing spacecraft encountered technical issues. The Starliner that docked at the ISS on June 13th this year was initially scheduled to return them to Earth after a week-long mission. However, problems with the spacecraft's thrusters and helium systems delayed the journey. The situation is further complicated by the need to manage docking ports at the International Space Station, as the Starliner has to be undocked to accommodate an upcoming Crew-9 mission. All this leaves NASA with just 19 days more to resolve the problem. For all the latest news, download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.